Hi guys, and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different. This video is all about a mod that I'm working on called Armored Greybeard Robes. And this is actually the second iteration of the mod. And I wanted to make a little video here just to run you through uh, what I've got so far and kind of explain uh, some of the stuff. We're here with our poor freezing to death uh, guy here. <laughs> uh, his name is Kevin. Kevin the Testificate. And Kevin the Testificate is uh, level zero. And I wanted to do the level zero with him uh, just because I wanted you guys to see uh, what the base stats were for the uh, for the different armors. Uh, this version of the mod is actually going to have uh, variants. So there's going to be uh, three different uh, types of armor and each one of the upgraded types will have uh, light armor and heavy armor variant. Uh, so that way if you're role playing as a graybeard and you want to specialize in light armor or heavy armor at least then you'll have a choice. But before poor Kevin here freezes his took us off let's head on into High Hrothgar and I'll show you how we're going to get a hold of this uh, new armor. Uh, now if you are playing the game and you're role play you want to play as a dragonborn you can wait and come to High Hrothgar uh, whenever uh, you're the, at that point in the main quest line. However, uh, if you want to roleplay as a non-Dragonborn, you may have trouble getting into this place because it'll be all locked up. So if you do have trouble, just go on into first person and on the PC, use your console, click on the door and type the word unlock. Just like that. And it will say unlocked door. And I've already done that, so uh, it didn't say locked, but then that'll let you just go on in. Alright, so once you're inside, you just want to uh, scoot right on past uh, these guys, and uh, don't worry, they, they won't try to talk to you or anything. If you try to talk to them, I'm actually not sure what they're going to say, since I haven't actually started the uh, main quest. But yeah, don't go up there. <laughs> so basically you want to come in and then just swing a left and go into the Greybeard's Quarters, which is over this way. And you just go all the way back to uh, where their sleeping area is, right back here. And you'll see, I'll just switch into first person. You'll see on this uh, uh, dresser here, which I've renamed Greybeard's Robes Dresser, uh, you're going to have uh, the Initiate Robes the initiate hood and here on the floor you'll see the initiate boots uh, I'll go ahead and take those because I think Kevin's a little bit cold right now and uh, whoops I didn't mean to uh, take that <laughs> goblet but we'll go ahead and put that on and you'll see these are are pretty low armor uh, these are actually the same as the base uh, graybeard robes I didn't change them at all other than just to make them into light armor because with the base rating that they would have had already in the game as clothing you would get no armor rating so these do have light armor rating and they are uh, the boots are five initiate hood is five and the initiate robes are eight so that should give you a total of let's see uh, 18 yeah that sounds about right now the way that I've had this mod set up is you grab these initiate robes and then you're going to use them as a crafting ingredient to craft the upgraded versions. So, uh, you know, I want people to have uh, options. So if you want to just keep your initiate robes and you don't want to use your original ones uh, as a crafting ingredient, I've actually inside of this uh, dresser here, we'll just open it up, and I stored away a bunch of uh, Kevin's original stuff. So inside of here, you'll see that there are also two more pairs of initiate boots, two more pairs of the hood, and two more sets of the initiate robes. So I'll go ahead and take those. And that is going to be that for the initiate robes. I'm going to head on over to uh, another area, which is one of my favorite mods uh, for testing out mods, and that is the Leveler's Tower. We're going to head on over there, and I'll show you about the crafting on these. And we'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the lit different levels, because the light armor and heavy armor variants are going to be at different uh, skill levels as far as smithing. So you won't be able to craft them until you start climbing up the uh, smithing tree. So I will meet you over at the Leveler's Tower. 
All right, guys, we're back, and we're here in the basement of the Leveler's Tower, and we're in a place called the Laboratory. Now, if you guys don't know about this place, this place is really cool. Uh, it allows you, when you're testing out mods and things, of course, yes, it is a cheat room. However, when you're testing out mods and things like that, it really saves a lot of time from having to uh, type in a bunch of console commands. So uh, let me just remind you that Kevin right now is level zero everything. Uh, he has not even a single sliver of XP, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give Kevin uh, all of the smithing perks. So I'll just go to next menu and take all perks, and then all perks are learned, and if we just check, we're, we're still at level zero. But if we go over to the smithing, you can see now he has all of the smithing perks. So this will help us out in the next stage. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn in some uh, crafting materials with this button right here and uh, first thing I'll do is go ahead and set it to I think uh, let's just go ahead and do 50 so we have plenty and then we'll get some uh, ingots we'll get some steel ingots and we'll get some uh, we're going to need some uh, ebony ingots and we're also going to need some Quicksilver ingots, which is right here. We're also going to need some materials. We're going to need some leather, and we're going to need some leather strips. So material and leather strips. All right, now that we have some uh, cheated us in some uh, crafting materials, let's head on over to the smithing area, and I'll meet you guys over there in just a second. All right, guys, we're back. We're here in the smithing area of the Leveler's Tower basement. And again, this is one of my favorite areas. Uh, I really love to spend time down here because uh, I like to do smithing and crafting. So I went ahead and stored away our extra sets because the idea is that you're going to choose a direction that you'd like to go uh, for your armor. Uh, what I mean by that is your initiate robes are light armor, but they can be crafted into uh, the armored robes which are light armor or heavy armor. So I'll just go ahead and show you that now. We'll go ahead and hit up the forge here. If I go into leather, you'll see that we have a recipe here for graybeard armored boots, hood, and robes. Now this is going to up the armor value quite a bit and it's going to be right around uh, the same as leather armor. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these. I'm gonna make the boots. I'm going to make the hood and I'm going to make the robes and you can see uh, we got a new set so it actually undressed us while we were crafting because the uh, robes are actually a part of the crafting recipe you have to upgrade uh, the robes and that's kind of the idea behind it so now we're all the way up to an armor rating which was at uh, 18 we're all the way up to 51 and this is without these uh, being upgraded at all now I uh, also can upgrade them again since I have the smithing perks if I want to I can upgrade them to the masters version and the masters light armor version is going to be found under the glass category so you're going to need to have the glass uh, smithing perk to get the master robes and my reasoning behind that is is that these are slightly actually better than glass armor so I'm gonna go ahead and make these we've got the graybeard master armored boots hood and robes again we uh, <laughs> got undressed <laughs> so let's go ahead and put those on and these are going to give you an armor rating of 82 which is like I said this is slightly above the armor rating that you would get for a full set of glass armor now I know you may be thinking well that's a pretty low armor rating but remember, uh, Kevin here is our testificate. He has a, a, all of his stats are at zero, which means you're only seeing the uh, base uh, stats here. Now, that's for the light armor. I'm going to go ahead and put away the light armor and do the craft for the heavy armor version. All right, we're back. And again, I just have the initiate boots, initiate hood, and initiate robes. And if you want to go the heavy armor way, you're going to want to upgrade these first through the steel smithing tree. So you're going to need the steel, steel smithing perk. And you're going to make the armored boots, hood, and robes. 
and let's go ahead and put those on. Oh, not miscellaneous. And you'll see the uh, heavy armor, first level heavy armor variant of the Greybeard armored robes is going to give you an armor rating of 69. Now, this is uh, in the steel category, and that's because these are slightly better than steel armor. So I put them in the steel category, and you'll need the steel smithing perk. Now, we can upgrade these uh, heavy armors one more time, and we're going to upgrade them to the master's variant. And these are going to be under ebony. So the master's heavy armor... Uh, the Master's Heavy Armor boots and hood are here under the Ebony Armor, and I must have uh, missed a keyword, so I'll go ahead and uh, fix that before I upload the mod. Uh, but yeah, so that'll give you an armor rating of uh, right around 100. So uh, that's pretty much it. You can also temper these, and they are tempered uh, using a similar material. You only need one material. If you're doing the light armor, it's one leather. Uh, if you're doing the light master's armor, it's one quicksilver ingot. If you're doing the heavy armor, it is uh, one steel ingot to upgrade. And then uh, the heavy armor is one ebony. So yeah, I must have missed the keyword, so I didn't have it. Uh, you know what? I bet it's in the miscellaneous category. So uh, if it is, I'll go, yep, there it is. So I'll go ahead and uh, switch the keyword around and make sure that that's correct before I upload it. But you will find this uh, in the mod under the ebony uh, category. So now we have a full set of heavy master's armored graybeard robes. And you can see there your armor rating is going to be uh, 100. Now, some of you might be wondering about the fact that there are no... Uh, hand armor or gauntlets with this and I, what I've done is I've gone ahead in the creation kit and I set these armors up so that as long as you have the graybeard hood and boots and armor you will uh, get the benefits from the perks uh, I'll go ahead and show you which ones I'm talking about under heavy armor which is right here uh, the first perk that you will be able to get is the 25% uh, armor bonus if wearing all heavy armor. And it does say head, chest, hands, and feet. However, with the graybeard robes, you only need the head, chest, and feet. I d you don't have the requirement for the hands. And then beyond Tower of Strength, you'll get matching set. And uh, that also will, if you're wearing a matched set of heavy armor, and I have set up the Greybeard robes to be a matching set um, with its own keyword uh, in the creation kit. So you won't have any problems with that. The same thing happens with the uh, light armor. If we just uh, scooch over here to the light armor. There is a perk called Custom Fit. You get a 25% bonus for head, chest, hands, and feet. The hands is not a requirement for this one. And then if we go up here, Matching Set also applies uh, because the Greybeard three-piece suit counts as a matching set the way I have it set up in the uh, Creation Kit. Now, one of the benefits of that is, uh, let's say I'm using the heavy armor and I want to add gauntlets you'll still get the matched uh, set bonus without the gauntlets, but if you have some you know, nice ebony gauntlets or something to go with it, you will get the uh, extra armor from those gauntlets along with the bonus and even with different types of uh, gauntlets. Let's say you don't use ebony. Let's say you use uh, uh, dragon bone or something like that. You will still get the uh, match set bonus because the three pieces of the Greybeard robes counts as a match set, regardless of other uh, armor pieces. Anyway, I've blabbered on for quite some time, and I think that pretty much covers everything. Uh, there is a future for this mod. Uh, I do plan on adding some extra stuff. I don't know how to make quests yet, but I'd like to make a quest that involves these uh, pieces. I would like to add some, uh, some unique items, possibly a sword or a ring. To the game that will give some bonuses that is a part of that quest so i'm going to keep on working on that but in the meantime i think this is a pretty cool uh mod setup for the way it is now and if you're interested in role playing 
as a Greybeard character, but you want your Greybeard robes to be viable uh, from early to mid to late game. I think this mod is going to have you covered. Alright guys, I'm see you later. This is Kevin. Kevin, wave bye-bye. Oh, he doesn't know how to wave bye-bye. Wave bye-bye, Kevin. Okay, he waved bye-bye. I'm see you later, guys. And I'll see you later. <laughs>